Welcome to our 10th Noah Conference. And then the question is, do you want to be part of the future or do you want to resist it? Here in Berlin, every 20 hours, a startup is founded nowadays. So if you fast forward that for the next years, what will happen in Europe if we want to build these competitive companies? This group, a group that we like to call the change generation, we don't think that there's a perfect name because it doesn't fit demographically age-wise as easy. We're turning our physical products into digital assets. We create like a DNA for every object. To build the vertical of intelligent climate control and become a leader here, we have raised 50 million euros in venture funding. A paradox is a contradictory statement that yet might be true. Uh, heat solutions hardware, that's another 75 billion. The business model of MCN is not so sexy compared to TV. TV is much more profitable. Right now, someone else is doing the same thing you are, working on the same idea. Your competitive advantage is going to be the people around you. We have now 15,000 summaries in seven languages. You're trying to win the business, so you end up designing for the buyer, and the user just has to deal with it. 20% of the decision makers are saying that they come every two weeks on our platform to look after products. And if you want to succeed, you must be a data-driven. And the more data-driven you are, the better you're able to win. We believe we can really take the, the IoT hype from a hype into making it reality. It's all about where you are today so you can then adapt and adopt to, to meet the challenges of tomorrow. And we're now covering 200 countries across the world on private company data. In summary, we'll talk about enabling global growth for ambitious companies. We're going after a very, very large opportunity across Europe in markets where there is basically little to no competition. Last year, $19 mil billion was invested into fintechs. On the other side, we see many, many investors right now that don't really know where to go with their money. At Bexa, we are fighting a really big problem. I want to talk about the future of money management. To date, we have over 40,000 merchants working with our solution. 14 billion euros of credit volume each year is the potential that we see. As fintechs are a core pillar of our research and um, development. The world of credit today is a two-class system. We want to expand this product further into many European countries and really build a pan-European mobile bank. Banks need fintechs and I think fintechs need banks because in, this comes to the topic of the panel who's going to win the client of the future. And that's a study which says 70% of the millennials, so-called, would rather go see the dentist than uh, calling their bank. Are you afraid of number 26? Today, we are the number one mortgage broker in Germany. We should develop skills with people from outside who have shown to have a superior model for what we have. Is it really possible to disrupt the industry um, with a value chain that is not really automatized from end to end? They don't fear us, they love us. Why? Because we have a very strong value proposition. We are investing out of two funds, a venture fund that's $550 million and a growth fund that's $750 million. We are early stage investors at heart, but can invest anywhere from seed stage to growth. We also have a, a side pocket which is very active and do, does a lot of seed investments. We do early stage consumer internet and software deals, series A stage, some seed. We're here to try and back um, global founders that want to build global category winners, and we're here to try and help them scale. The times have changed, and they have changed drastically for the funds of us that are around for a long time. Our main strategy is around Internet of Things in a variety of sectors. FinTech and areas that are uh, core and adjacent to Deutsche Börse strategy is our focus. The reason being that we clearly see that American companies have much more access to capital. Uh, that is if you like it or not, a huge competitive advantage, even if you take the smartest founding team. Every year, about 50 to 60 million people worldwide reach the level where they start buying luxury. That we really want to continue to challenge the way the industry works and want to continue to change the way that the fashion industry works. Within a 12-month period, we offer more than 500,000 
different products to our customers. Has NOAA helped you to grow faster in terms of capital raisings and all these good things? We have probably raised a couple of rounds because of VOA and NOAA uh, conferences. I'm, I'm sure we met a couple of investors we, related to Gone Board. Okay, that was the deal. It's exciting to be at one of the best tech conferences uh, in Europe. And we build businesses and we're entrepreneurs and we want to uh, add value, we want to add a service, we want to improve it, we want to make it better. Uh, when we create this company, we had a vision to reinvent the way women shops and discover for high street fashion. So we have a clear consumer target uh, with the digital woman. Where there is passion and where there is vibrancy, there is a market and there is money. So video auctions are our number one format. I think especially in times of uncertainty and disruption, you still need a clear strategy and a clear target picture. For these cross-border transactions, we solve three issues for the dealer. We've really changed the way people would get from A to B. So it's 30x more conversion, and it's, it's all about price point. We've recently come out of the gate, and we now have over 450,000 vehicles. But what we really do is we run a huge social experiment in Germany cities. What is uh, uh, uniquely interesting is that GET is equally successful with consumers and corporates. The car industry is getting revolutionized. We are moving from ownership to access. Just imagine that you will not make any profit anymore with a seat. Mass transit moves lots of people very efficiently, but for some reason it just doesn't actually solve the entire problem. Why not? Well, because mass transit just can't go to everybody's doorstep. I am a friend of competition and of innovation and of investment into innovation. We now want to give people back their time. What is the internet? In my judgment, it's not a technology medium. It's not a network of connected computers. It's a system that pushes information to the edge of humanity. Our ability to gather, our ability to analyze, our ability to communicate information and uh, to accomplish tasks is light years ahead of our ability to secure that information. Every time you create a great product or a great business, there's an equal force of people down that rabbit hole that are looking to exploit it. It's the three Ds for decarbonization, decentralization, and digitalization. Those are the things that will be determining our business model in the future. That's where a lot of the savings and incremental revenue come from. So our philosophy was it's probably going to be the same in digital. A new form of storytelling will evolve, a new form of distribution, a new economic model. Instead of trying to recreate a newspaper and just post it online, let's figure out what the native digital journalism is going to look like. The whole group is generating more than a billion video views per month. Uh, but how is that going to be monetized? How do we make money with that? And one of the learnings is we need to focus. We need to focus on the things that matter. Obviously, we will only continue to win if we continue to innovate. We built Harry's because the product is overpriced, um, it's overdesigned, and it's inconvenient to purchase. With the trend in health booming, they're projecting the healthy food and drinks market to hit $1 trillion by next year alone. As we're bringing the lightful, market fresh and easy cooking back to the people. Our vision is to make everybody in the world become the greatest version of themselves. True luxury to the most discerning of clients is privacy. It's quality time and the highest level of individuality. We're in testing and Adidas. We are here to win the race. We're really eager to get the impossible done. The whole world is getting digital. We are a big tanker, but we need a few speedboats to helping us uh, uh, to be faster. I think it's awesome because we do this conference in Berlin to bring together champions and challengers. They're starting to use these talent clusters to take hot digital technologies and really innovate as quick as they can. The innovation, it's not only a question of digitalization, it's much more of the culture of the overall behavior and what you can do for your clients. We say we're a community of creators and we empower people to create their life's work, not just the living. And we, as performing musicians, are highly viral. We are the gatekeepers of this inventory and all of these initiatives are built on top of our platform. And the reason I come here is to try and find companies that are growing, that are exciting, that are fast and that could become part of our group. We're not the biggest player, 
but we want to be the best. We completely managed to change the image of bus traveling. Big thanks to Marco and uh, the whole team at Axel Springer NOAA for giving us this forum. Uh, we think it's going to be a really great partnership. We auction off at placements in apps on a global basis. Innovit is the leader in the world of video marketing platform. There are no real predictive data assets in the market. It's not a user experience people want, and that's where we come in. We have built an AI media allocation platform which replaces the existing media agency. The, the healthcare market is strongly underdeveloped. This is only the beginning. And how do we make sure the right people get the right product at the right time? Bayer has uh, joined us as a global founder partner for life science and digital health. Statista indeed for the moment um, is the biggest destination where people look for statistics. To improve healthcare access for 500 million inhabitants in Europe. I'm about to tell you what makes us job today so special. We are very much involved in the development and tweaking and building the systems of the game themselves. And it's about designing games that players interact with. You cannot just load on as many users on a video profile as possible. What do the digital winners actually all have in common? It's mobile, mobile, mobile. And it's not only a revolution, it's actually that we know what women of today want. So why not trying a search engine who does not track you at all? This is what it's all about. It's um, pure emotion. Uh, today I would like to show you how video messaging uh, works on Dubsmash. Thank you guys for being here. Play the video.